Hello everyone, it's Alex or a Mo Musician, depending on what venue you find me on. And today, I have a special video as St. Patrick's Day is just around the corner. But before I show you the feature of this video, I have to set the scene. For those of you who don't already know, I attend the Missouri University of Science and Technology. It's also known as Missouri S&T, or S&T for short. You might also recognize it under its former names, UMR or MSM. The university was founded as MSM in 1870, that's shortly after the Civil War, and not long before the telephone. No, I don't mean this kind of phone. I mean this kind of phone. Do any of these items look familiar? They've all been developed or patented by S&T alumni. So in a way, you have always known about this university, but not directly. At this point, you might be wondering, what does this top-rated university have to do with St. Patrick's Day? Well, Rolla is known for its St. Pat's celebration traditions, so much so that the current brand of the school is based on the color green. Most people are surprised to find out that the official school colors are still just silver and gold. And to explain how this all got started, we have to go back to 1908, when the University of Missouri-Columbia that's Mizzou these days, extended an invitation for MSM to send a delegate to witness their ceremonies. And I have to be honest, it seems kind of crazy to invite only one person. It's kind of like saying, you may send one and only one to gaze upon the glory that is our St. Pat's Day celebration. Well, let's be honest, I'm kind of biased. While one person went to Columbia, students secretly planned their own celebration for the following day. That night, students decorated the entrance of Norwood Hall, and others posted notices that proclaimed March 17th a day of celebration, and that all students should be at the local depot that next morning. The morning of St. Patrick's Day came, and so did St. Patrick, and he was greeted by a crowd of students who organized an impromptu parade as they headed to the entrance of Norwood Hall, where the staff was waiting for them, rather unimpressed. The school director, Dr. Lewis Young, was asked to kneel in the name of St. Patrick, and he was dubbed the first honorary knight of St. Patrick, the patron saint of engineers. And there was much rejoicing. The rest is history. This year is the 108th best ever St. Pat's, and now, finally, to the game. So here we are. Um, the game runs in a web browser, and it works with touchscreen, uh, keyboard input. Um, it'll fit on any screen. Uh, for example, if I go in here and uh, put Chrome into mobile mode, it has a mobile layout. Very handy. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to go ahead and use the, uh, the keyboard. Pretty simple for the most part. You just have to try to avoid being bitten by a snake. Uh, and you have to bash 108 of them as it is the 108th best ever St. Pat's. You've got the Rolla building over on the left, the mine up to the north, and the whole map is centered around the puck. Um, and you'll also hear a small bit of um, Scott on the Brave every time you kill 10 snakes. So. One more, and we'll hear bagpipes. There we are. It can kind of be an intense game, really, because you're trying to avoid being bit so you can keep your health up. <laughs> now, uh, some of the students have figured out that if you come down by the raw building sign, you can just stand here, but then you lose your time bonus. So... It also helps to not stay in one place too long. Crud. Run away from the snakes. Alright. Ah, crud. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm so close.
<laughs> it's kind of stressful to be honest. Oh my gosh. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> 103rd, 104th, 105th. Nope, no 105th. I screwed up. I am almost dead. Man, I am so close. If I screw this up, I'm sorry. And there we go. 108 snakes, time bonus 88, final score 980. So there we go. And if you want, you can share it on Twitter. I'm not logged in, so I won't do that. I'll do it. Uh, let me know if you can beat me down in the, the comments if you want. And I'm, uh, do be sure to check this game out. I got the link in the description. Uh, like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, oh Jesus. Get in the, get in the pipe. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna stop. It's a great game. It's kind of like Flappy Bird. It's addictive where you just want to keep going. Uh oh, uh, what? Uh, anyway, I was saying, um, it's addictive.